Welcome back to Zcoins today, we're going to explore the history, design, and current market value of the 1776 to 1976 bicentennial quarter. Could this be the coin that changes your life? Let's find out. Let's travel back in time to the mid 1970s. The United States was preparing to celebrate its 200th anniversary of independence, a milestone that called for something special. In honor of the bicentennial, the U.S. Mint decided to release a series of commemorative coins, including the quarter, half dollar, and dollar, each with unique designs to celebrate this historic event. The 1776 to 1976 quarter, also known as the bicentennial quarter, was one of these special releases. Unlike regular quarters that feature George Washington on the front and an eagle on the back, the bicentennial quarter has a dual date, 1776 to 1976, and a special reverse design. The reverse side of the bicentennial quarter features a colonial drummer with a victory torch encircled by 13 stars, representing the original 13 colonies. This design was created by Jack L. H.R., an artist who won a national competition held by the U.S. Mint. But why is this coin suddenly worth so much? Let's dig deeper into its unique characteristics and the factors that have driven its value up. Now, not all bicentennial quarters are created equal. Most of these coins that you'll find in circulation are made of copper nickel clad and are relatively common, making them worth only their face value. However, there are specific versions of this coin that can fetch a pretty penny. There are three primary mint marks to look for on bicentennial quarters. D for the Denver Mint, S for the San Francisco Mint, and P for the Philadelphia Mint. While most of these coins are not particularly valuable, the S mint mark quarters are often more sought after, especially if they were struck as proof coins in a 40% silver composition. Proof coins are specially made for collectors and have a much higher quality finish, with sharp details and a mirror-like surface. The 40% silver bicentennial quarters, especially in proof condition, are highly collectible and can be worth significantly more than face value, but we're not talking about thousands just yet. So where does the $76,000 value come in? Recently, there's been a lot of buzz about a bicentennial quarter that sold for a whopping $76,000. This has caused quite a stir in the coin collecting community and beyond. But is this true? And if so, what makes this particular quarter so valuable? The truth is, while the $76,000 figure is not a common occurrence, there have been instances where unique conditions and rare errors have caused some bicentennial quarters to sell for large sums of money at auction. So what should you look for? The most valuable bicentennial quarters are those with mint errors, high grades, or unique characteristics. Mint errors can include double dies, off-center strikes, or unusual planchets, which make them rare and highly desirable among collectors. For instance, a high-grade bicentennial quarter that's nearly flawless in its minting, often referred to as a MS-68 or MS-69 on the grading scale, can sell for thousands of dollars. However, the quarter that recently fetched $76,000 was a special case. This coin was a near-perfect example with a combination of a rare mint error and exceptional condition. It's important to remember that while such a high sale price is rare, it's not impossible, and that's what keeps the thrill alive in coin collecting. So you might be wondering, do I have a valuable bicentennial quarter? Here's how you can check. First, check the mint mark. If you have a San Francisco Mint S mark, you might have a proof coin. Next, examine the condition of the coin. The better the condition, the higher the potential value. Look for any mint errors or unique features, such as doubling or off-center strikes. If you think you have something special, consider getting it professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service like Peace GS or NGC. They can provide an official assessment of the coin's condition and authenticity, which can significantly impact its market value. Currently, 
the market for rare and valuable coins is hotter than ever, with collectors and investors constantly on the lookout for unique pieces to add to their collections. While most bicentennial quarters won't make you a millionaire, the possibility of finding a rare gem is what makes this hobby so exciting. Remember, coin collecting is not just about the money. It's also about the history, the artistry, and the thrill of the hunt. So keep an eye out, check your change, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the next person to find a quarter worth $76,000. We're talking about a coin that has been making waves in the numismatic community, the 1985 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Could this humble coin be worth up to $90,000? Let's find out. First, let's take a step back in time to understand the history of the 1985 quarter. The 1985 quarter dollar is part of the Washington Quarter Series, which was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. This design became so popular that it replaced the standing Liberty Quarter permanently. Now, the 1985 quarter isn't considered particularly rare on its own. In fact, millions were minted that year. The D Mint mark on our quarter indicates it was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the primary mints in the United States. The coin is made of a copper nickel clad composition, which was standard for quarters minted after 1964. So you might be asking, why on earth would a 1985 D Mint mark quarter be worth $90,000? Great question! To answer that, we need to delve into the world of coin grading and errors. Coin value is determined by a few key factors, rarity, demand, condition, and sometimes errors. Most 1985 D quarters are worth just face value, 25 cents. However, if you have a quarter that is in exceptional condition or a coin with a significant minting error, the value can skyrocket. Some coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect uncirculated coin. A 1985 D quarter graded MS68, which means it's in near perfect condition, could be worth several hundred dollars. But for a coin to reach that astonishing $90,000 mark, it needs something more. Dot an error. And not just any error. We're talking about rare, dramatic errors like double die strikes, off-center errors, or coins struck on the wrong metal planchet. Error coins can be incredibly valuable because they are unique. No two are exactly alike. In the past, error coins like the 1955 double die Lincoln cent and the 1937 D three-legged buffalo nickel have sold for tens of thousands of dollars. A 1985 D quarter with a rare error could also fetch a high price at auction. Recently, a few 1985 D quarters with dramatic errors have been discovered and sold for impressive amounts. One particular example was a 1985 D quarter that had a significant double die reverse, where the images and text on the back of the coin appeared doubled. It's this kind of discovery that can lead to the jaw-dropping prices we see in the headlines. But what about the current market value? A standard 1985 D quarter in circulated condition will only fetch about 25 cents to a few dollars if it's in uncirculated condition. However, coins with high grades, MS67 or higher, or significant errors can range from hundreds to potentially tens of thousands of dollars depending on their rarity and the demand among collectors. The key to getting the highest value for your 1985 D quarter is to have it graded by a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. Grading provides an expert opinion on the coin's condition and authenticity, which is crucial for high value sales. Once graded, Finding the right buyer is essential. Some collectors specialize in error coins or high-grade examples, and they might be willing to pay a premium for a unique find. Online auctions, coin shows, and even numismatic clubs are great places to connect with potential buyers. All right, so how can you find out if your 1985 D quarter is a hidden treasure? Here are a few quick tips. 
Look for coins that show minimal wear. The more pristine, the better. Use a magnifying glass or a microscope to check for doubling, misprints, or any irregularities. Sometimes, errors involve coins being struck on the wrong planchet, which can affect the coin's weight. A coin scale can help detect these anomalies. If you suspect your coin is valuable, have it graded by a professional. This adds credibility and can significantly increase its market value. Remember, while finding a $90,000 1985D quarter is like hitting the jackpot, every coin tells a story, and being a coin collector is all about the thrill of discovery. So keep hunting, keep collecting, and who knows? You might just find a piece of history worth a fortune. We're uncovering the story behind a seemingly ordinary 1989D mint mark quarter that's causing quite a stir in the numismatic community. You won't believe it, but some of these coins are currently valued at up to $80,000. So what makes this coin so special? Let's find out. First, let's talk a bit about the 1989D mint mark quarter itself. This coin is a part of the Washington Quarter series which started back in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The D Mint mark indicates that this coin was produced at the Denver Mint, one of the United States key minting facilities. In 1989, the U.S. Mint produced millions of Washington quarters. But as is often the case in the world of coin collecting, not all quarters are created equal. Some batches have unique characteristics or errors that make them highly desirable to collectors. And that's exactly what happened with the 1989D quarter. So what makes the 1989D mint mark quarter potentially worth a small fortune? The answer lies in a rare minting error. You see, in coin collecting, errors can dramatically increase a coin's value, especially if they're unique and rare. For the 1989D quarter, there's a particular version of the coin with a minting error that has caught the attention of collectors worldwide. Some quarters from this batch have a double die on the reverse side, which means the die used to strike the coin was misaligned, creating a noticeable doubling effect on the letters and the imagery. Collectors have reported that this doubling is especially visible on the words United States of America and E Pluribus Unum as well as on the eagle's wings. These doubling errors are not just fascinating to look at, but are also rare enough to make the coin incredibly valuable. Now, you might be wondering, how does a quarter, which is face valued at just 25 cents, end up being worth $80,000? The story behind this staggering figure is quite interesting. I in recent years, a 1989D quarter with a particularly pronounced double die error was discovered. The coin was in exceptional condition, graded as MS67 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, which means it was almost in mint state. This, combined with its rarity, made it highly sought after. At a prestigious auction, this coin sparked a bidding war among collectors, driving the final price up to an astonishing $80,000. This sale set a new benchmark for what this error coin could be worth leading many collectors to search their own collections and change jars, hoping to find another hidden gem. So how can you tell if you have a valuable 1989D quarter in your pocket change? Here are a few tips. This is located on the obverse side of the coin, just to the right of Washington's ponytail. It signifies that the coin was minted in Denver. This is the key feature. Use a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop to closely inspect the reverse side of the coin. Look carefully at the letters and the eagle's wings. If you notice a doubling effect, you might be holding on to something special. Even with an error, the condition of the coin is crucial. Coins that are in mint state or have been well preserved are more valuable. Look for coins that have minimal scratches, where or discoloration dot if you think you've found a rare 1989D quarter, it's worth having it professionally graded. A certified grading from PCGS or NGC can authenticate the coin's condition and error, which can significantly boost its market value. 
The market for rare coins can be unpredictable, but error coins like the 1989 D quarter often maintain high value due to their uniqueness. Recently, there's been a surge in interest as collectors and investors are looking for alternative assets. This increased demand could mean higher prices for rare quarters in the future. If you're interested in starting a collection or already have one, it's always a good idea to stay informed about market trends. Auction houses, online marketplaces, and coin shows are great places to gauge the current market. Remember, though, that coin collecting should be as much about the passion and enjoyment of the hobby as it is about the potential profits. And there you have it, folks. The incredible story of the 1989 D-Mint Mark Quarter and how one small error turned a simple coin into a valuable collector's item worth up to $80,000. Who knows, maybe you have one sitting in your pocket right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update on all things rare and valuable. Also, let us know in the comments below if you've ever found a valuable coin in your change. We'd love to hear your stories. We're diving deep into a coin that many of you might have in your pocket right now or sitting in an old coin jar. What if I told you that one of these seemingly ordinary coins could be worth up to $1.70,000? That's right, we're talking about the 1990D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin, an elusive treasure hiding in plain sight. Let's explore its fascinating history, what makes it so special, and how you could potentially own one of these rare finds. To understand the significance of the 1990D quarter, we need to go back in time to the year 1990. The D on the coin signifies that it was minted at the Denver Mint, one of the key facilities in the United States responsible for producing coins. Now you might be thinking, it's just another quarter, right? Well, not quite. In 1990, millions of quarters were minted at the Denver Mint, just like every other year. However, this particular coin's value doesn't come from being an ordinary quarter. It becomes intriguing when we dig into the details. It's all about a unique variety or an error that makes this coin incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. Coins minted in Denver are marked with a D-Mint mark, and in 1990, there were no specific intentions of producing a highly valuable collectible. The high value comes from a rare error that occurred during its minting. The 1990D quarter is valuable primarily because of a minting error known as a double die error. This type of error happens when the coin is struck twice by the die, but in slightly different positions. The result? Some of the details on the coin, like the year, the mint mark, or even the word liberty, appear doubled or slightly blurred. This doubling effect can vary in its prominence, but when it's clear and visible without the need for a microscope, collectors go crazy for it. Imagine having a coin with such a rare feature. It's like owning a piece of American numismatic history. But it's not just the double die that adds value. In some cases, these quarters can also have other errors or unique markings, making them even more rare. For example, a 1990D quarter with a significant off-center strike or a dramatic die crack can fetch a much higher price. Now, let's talk about the most incredible find, a 1990D quarter that sold for an astonishing $70,000. What made this particular coin worth so much? This coin was in nearly perfect condition, what collectors call MS-68 grade, almost mint state perfection. Only a few tiny blemishes kept it from being graded MS-70, the absolute highest condition possible. But the rarity of the double die error combined with its near flawless condition made it a highly coveted piece. When it went to auction, it attracted the attention of top collectors around the world, eventually selling for a jaw-dropping $70,000. That's right, a simple quarter worth more than a brand new car or even a down payment on a house. So you might be wondering, do I have one of these valuable quarters? Well, 
Let's walk through how to identify if your 1990D quarter is a hidden gem. First, take a close look at the mint mark and the year. Use a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop to inspect the lettering. If you see any doubling, especially on the word liberty or the date, you might have a valuable coin on your hands. Look for other anomalies, like misprints or die cracks, which can also add value. Next, consider the coin's condition. Coins in better condition, those without scratches, nicks, or discoloration, are generally worth more. The closer to mint state, the higher the potential value. And finally, if you believe you have a valuable coin, get it authenticated and graded by a professional grading service like PeaceGS or NGC. They can provide an official grade and verify any errors or unique features, which is crucial for determining its true market value. While not every 1990D quarter is worth $70,000, even those with minor errors or in excellent condition can fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars today. The coin market is always fluctuating, with collectors constantly on the hunt for these rare finds. The value of rare coins like the 1990D quarter can increase over time, especially as more collectors enter the market and the availability of mint condition coins decreases. So, even if your quarter isn't a big ticket item now, it could be worth much more in the future. So what are you waiting for? Check your pockets, dig through those old coin jars, and see if you might be sitting on a small fortune. And remember, the world of coin collecting is full of surprises. Sometimes, the most ordinary looking coin could be worth a treasure. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins and collectibles, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you think you might have a valuable coin, let us know in the comments below. Who knows? You could be the next person to discover a hidden gem worth thousands. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1995 D Mint Mark Quarter. That's right, a simple quarter dollar coin that could be worth up to a whopping dollar sixty zero zero zero. Grab your magnifying glasses and let's explore what makes this coin so special, how it got its incredible value, and what you need to know to spot one. First things first, let's talk about what exactly the 1995 D Quarter is. This coin is part of the Washington Quarter Series, which has been a staple in American currency since 1932. The D mint mark indicates that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. But why are some of these quarters so valuable? Let's take a trip back in time to uncover its history. The 1995 Washington Quarter was struck in a time when the U.S. Mint was producing millions of coins annually. In fact, over 1 billion quarters were minted in 1995 alone. However, not all coins are created equal. Most 1995 D quarters are worth their face value, but a select few are worth far more. And here's WHY.I in 1995. The Denver Mint was responsible for producing a massive quantity of quarters to keep up with the public demand. Among these were several thousand coins struck with a unique feature, an error that has since become highly prized among collectors. We're talking about the highly sought after double diaverse. This type of error happens when a coin is struck more than once, but slightly misaligned each time, leading to a doubling effect that's visible to the naked eye, especially around the inscriptions. On the 1995 D quarter, the doubling is most noticeable on the words liberty, and in God we trust. This error is a result of a misalignment in the die during the minting process. Double dies are relatively rare, and for many collectors, they are considered a unique piece of minting history. But why does this make the coin so valuable? To understand the current market value of up to $60,000, we need to delve into the world of coin collecting. The value of a coin is determined by several factors rarity, demand, condition, and historical significance. Let's start with rarity. A 1995 D quarter with a double die error is incredibly rare. 
even among the millions of quarters produced, only a small fraction exhibit this error. Next up is demand. Double die coins are always in high demand among collectors, especially if they're in good condition. Now, condition or grade is crucial. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to mint state, MS70. A 1995 D quarter in mint state, particularly MS67 or higher, is what we're looking at when we talk about the $60,000 price tag. The most recent auction saw one of these coins in MS68 condition fetch nearly $60,000. Why? It's a perfect storm of rarity, demand, and impeccable condition. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for such coins because they are not just currency, but pieces of American history. Now, here's the part you've been waiting for. How can you identify if you have one of these rare 1995 D quarters in your possession? First, take a close look at the date and the mint mark under the word Liberty on the obverse side of the coin. You'll want to look for the D mint mark which signifies the Denver Mint. Next, inspect the lettering, especially Liberty and In God We Trust. A magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop can help you see the doubling effect that indicates a double die error. Remember, even minor doubling can significantly increase the value, but the more pronounced the doubling, the higher the potential value. Also, pay attention to the overall condition of the coin. Is it free of major scratches, dings, or wear? The cleaner the coin, the better. A professional grading service can provide an official grade, which is a critical step if you believe your coin might be a high value piece. So you found a 1995 D quarter with a double die error, and it's in great condition. What's next? First, consider getting it graded by a reputable coin grading company like PCGS or NGC. They can authenticate and grade your coin, which will provide potential buyers with the confidence that your coin is the real deal and in the condition you claim. This step is crucial to ensure your coin is legitimate and in the condition you believe it to be. Professional grading can significantly boost your coin's value. You can choose between selling your coin through a coin dealer, an auction house, or online platforms like eBay. Each has its pros and cons auction houses might take a commission, but they also have a network of serious collectors who are willing to pay top dollar. Online platforms might have lower fees, but you'll need to deal with the logistics of shipping and potential buyer disputes. If you're going the auction route, set a minimum price you're willing to accept to ensure you don't sell your valuable coin for less than it's worth. If you're selling online, high quality photos and a detailed description are key. Highlight the mint mark, the double die error, and the coin's condition. Be transparent about any flaws.so. There you have it. The story of the 1995 D quarter that could be worth up to $60,000. This coin is a perfect example of why it's important to pay attention to the details in your everyday change. You never know when you might find a hidden gem. Remember, the value of these coins isn't just in their metal or face value. It's in the stories they carry and the passion they ignite among collectors. So next time you come across a 1995 quarter, take a closer look. You might just have a valuable piece of American history in your hands. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins and their values, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment below if you have any rare coins or stories you'd like to share. Until next time, keep collecting and happy hunting. We have an especially exciting topic, the 2001D1792 Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about this coin, and how did it come to be worth up to $50,000 on the market? Let's dive right in. To understand the value of the 2001D1792 Mint Mark Quarter Dollar, we need to take a step back in time and uncover its unique history. While it may sound a bit confusing, 
the 1792 mint mark on a 2001 de quarter is actually a commemorative mark. Let's break it down. The year 1792 is significant in the history of American coinage. It was the year the Coinage Act was passed, establishing the U.S. Mint and the dollar as the country's standard unit of money. To commemorate this milestone, the U.S. Mint occasionally produces special coins to honor this foundational year. So how does the year 2001 come into play? The 2001 quarter is part of the state quarter series, and some versions of this coin were struck at the Denver Mint with a special mint mark celebrating the establishment of the U.S. Mint in 1792. What makes this coin truly fascinating is the D mint mark, indicating it was produced at the Denver Mint, paired with the unusual 1792 marking. This is what collectors refer to as a dual-dated coin, a rare occurrence in the world of numismatics. Now, let's talk about what really drives the value of this coin through the roof, its rarity, and the possibility of it being an error coin. Error coins are like the holy grail for collectors. They are coins that have some sort of mistake or unusual characteristic that sets them apart from the millions of others produced. The 2001 D1792 mint mark quarter dollar falls into this category for a couple of reasons. Firstly, very few were minted with this unique dual date, making them exceedingly rare. Secondly, there are rumors and some reports that a few of these quarters were struck with errors during production. These could include off-center strikes, doubling of the die, or even incorrect metal composition. These errors make the coin incredibly desirable to collectors because it means each coin is potentially unique in its own right. And in the world of coin collecting, rarity and uniqueness are two of the most critical factors that determine a coin's value. Okay, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. What's this coin worth today? The answer might shock you. Recent auctions have seen the 2000 and 1D1792 mint mark quarter dollar fetch staggering sums, with some coins selling for up to $50,000. But why such a high price? The value of a coin like this is determined by several factors. Its rarity, the demand among collectors, its condition or grade, and any unique errors it might have. Coins graded by professional services, like PCGS or NGC as being in near-perfect condition, known as MS or Mint State, with the unique dual date and mint mark are the ones fetching the highest prices. And remember, the coin market is highly dynamic. The value of rare coins can fluctuate based on trends in the market, new discoveries, or changes in collector demand. That's why it's so important to stay updated on the latest coin news if you're into collecting. So how can you tell if you have one of these valuable coins in your collection? Here are a few tips. Look closely for the dual date 1792 and the D mint mark, indicating the Denver mint. Use a magnifying glass to check for any striking errors or unusual features. These can significantly increase the coin's value. If you think you might have a valuable coin, consider sending it to a professional grading service to determine its authenticity and grade. Join coin collecting forums subscribe to numismatic newsletters, and keep an eye on auction sites to stay updated on the market trends. To sum it up, the 2001 D1792 mint mark quarter dollar coin is not just a piece of American history. It's a hidden gem that could be worth a small fortune. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep your eyes peeled for rare coins like this one. They might just make you rich. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on rare and valuable coins. Have you ever found a rare coin in your pocket change? Let us know in the comments below. We have an exciting topic for you. The 2019 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Believe it or not, some of these coins are currently valued at up to $25,000. That's right, a modern quarter worth a small fortune. Stick around, because we're going to explore why this particular coin has caught the eye of collectors, 
and how you might have one of these valuable quarters hiding in your pocket change. So let's start with the basics. The 2019 P Mint Mark Quarter is part of the America, the Beautiful Quarters program, which began in 2010 and ended in 2021. This series featured designs representing national parks and other national sites across the United States. Each year, the U.S. Mint released five different designs, with the 2019 quarters highlighting Lowell National Historical Park, American Memorial Park, War in the Pacific National Historical Park, San Antonio Missions, and the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness. Now, most people know that these quarters come with different mint marks, indicating where they were produced. The P mint mark signifies that the coin was minted in Philadelphia. While millions of these quarters were produced, there are a few special reasons why some of these 2019 quarters are worth a lot more than 25 cents. The real question is, what makes these quarters so valuable? Let's break it down into a few key factors, rarity, condition, and errors. First, let's talk about rarity. While the 2019 quarters were minted in large numbers, only a handful of these coins have been found with certain features that make them extremely rare. This leads us to the next point, condition. In the world of coin collecting, condition is king. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, flawless coin. The 2019 P Mint Mark quarters that are fetching high prices are those that have been graded at or near this perfect score, known as MS68 or higher. These grades indicate that the coin has almost no imperfections, which is incredibly rare for a circulated coin. Then, there's the third factor, errors. Some of the most valuable 2019 P Mint Mark quarters are error coins. These errors can range from doubled dies, where the design appears doubled, to off-center strikes, where the design isn't perfectly aligned with the coin's shape. These minting errors make the coins unique, and in the world of numismatics, uniqueness often equals value. Let's take a look at some examples of 2019 P Mint Mark quarters that have sold for thousands of dollars. Recently, a 2019 P. Lowell Quarter graded MS68 sold for over $25,000 at an auction. This particular coin was in exceptional condition and was a first strike, meaning it was one of the earliest coins produced from a new set of dies. These first strike coins are highly sought after by collectors because they're usually in the best condition. Other examples include 2019 P. Quarters with mint errors. For instance, a coin with a significant die crack error, where a visible crack runs across the coin, recently fetched over $15,000. Another example is a quarter with a double die obverse error, where the design on the front of the coin appears doubled due to a mistake during the minting process, which sold for around $10,000. So, you're probably wondering, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable quarters in your collection? First, check the mint mark. Look for the small P on the front of the coin, just right of George Washington's portrait. If your quarter has a P, then it was minted in Philadelphia. Next, examine the coin for any errors. This might require a magnifying glass or even a microscope. Look for things like doubling in the design, off-center images, or unusual cracks or marks. Also, check the coin's condition if it looks like it's in near-perfect shape, you might have something special. To get an accurate assessment, consider having your coin professionally graded by a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. They can provide an official grade and authenticate any errors, which can significantly increase the coin's value if you decide to sell it. So, what does the future hold for the 2019 P Mint Mark Quarter? Well, in the world of collectibles, prices can fluctuate based on demand, rarity, and the discovery of new era coins. Right now, these quarters are highly sought after, especially those in perfect condition or with unique errors. As more collectors and investors enter the market, 
the prices for high-grade and error 2019 peak quarters could continue to rise. If you're a collector or someone who loves the thrill of finding treasure in everyday places, it's worth keeping an eye on these coins. Who knows? That 25-cent piece in your pocket could turn out to be worth thousands. We're going to explore a surprising coin that you might have in your pocket change. The 2018 D Mint Mark Quarter. Believe it or not, some of these quarters have been fetching up to $30,000 at auction. Stick around as we uncover the history, the value, and why this coin could be your next big find. First, let's talk about the 2018 quarters. These quarters are part of the America, the Beautiful Quarters program, which began in 2010 and ended in 2021. Each year, five different designs were released to honor national parks and significant historical sites across the United States. In 2018, the quarters featured pictured rocks in Michigan, Apostle Islands in Wisconsin, Voyagers in Minnesota, Cumberland Island in Georgia, and Block Island in Rhode Island. The quarters minted in 2018 came from three different mints, Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D Mint Mark, and San Francisco, S Mint Mark. But today, we're zeroing in on the Denver Mint and the 2018 D Mint Mark quarters. The Denver Mint, established in 1906, is one of the largest producers of coins in the world. Coins from Denver are identifiable by a small D Mint Mark. The D Mint Mark appears on various denominations of coins including the 2018 quarters we're discussing today. These coins are generally circulated and, typically, aren't seen as rare or valuable. However, some specific quarters from 2018 with the D-Mint mark have caught collectors' attention. So, what makes a 2018 D-Mint mark quarter worth up to $30,000? The answer lies in a combination of rarity, error, and condition. Firstly, some of these quarters have unique minting errors. Mint errors can include things like double dies, off-center strikes, or die cracks. These errors occur during the production process and make the coin unique. Error coins are highly sought after by collectors because they're one of a kind. Let's look at a few errors that can dramatically increase the value of a 2018 D quarter. This occurs when the die imprints the design onto the coin more than once, resulting in a doubled image. Double die errors on the 2018 D quarters can show up on both the obverse, head side, and reverse, tail side of the coin. If a quarter is struck off center, part of the design is missing, and this is a notable minting mistake. Collectors love these kinds of errors, especially when the date and mint mark are still visible. These happen when the die used to strike the coin develops a crack or a piece breaks off, resulting in raised lines or blobs on the finished coin. A noticeable die crack or cut can make a coin highly valuable. Aside from errors, the condition or grade of a coin significantly impacts its value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, uncirculated coin without any marks or blemishes. A 2018 D quarter with a rare minting error graded at MS68 or MS69 could be worth thousands. Most coins you find in circulation will have some wear and tear, reducing their value. However, if you come across a 2018 D quarter that looks nearly perfect or has a noticeable error, it might be worth getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. Let's talk numbers. In 2020, a 2018 D quarter with a major mint error and in nearly perfect condition sold at auction for nearly $30,000. This high price was due to its rarity, error type, and high grade condition. Most 2018 D quarters won't reach this high value, but they can still be worth much more than their face value if they have these unique characteristics. If you're curious about the current market value, Regularly check coin auction sites or marketplaces like eBay. Look for listings of 2018 D quarters 
that mention errors or high grades to get an idea of what collectors are willing to pay right now. So how can you find one of these valuable quarters? Start by searching your spare change or getting rolls of quarters from your bank. Carefully inspect each coin for any noticeable errors or signs of wear. Using a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop can help you spot those tiny details that might indicate a valuable error. Once you've identified a potential find, it's crucial to preserve its condition. Handle the coin by the edges and avoid touching the surfaces. Store it in a protective holder to prevent any scratches or further wear. If you think you have a particularly valuable coin, consider sending it to a professional grading service to get an official grade and increase its marketability. In conclusion, while most 2018 D-Mint Mark quarters you come across will be worth their face value, there are exceptions. Rare mint errors and high-grade coins can fetch incredible prices at auction. So, always keep an eye out and check your change. You never know when you might stumble upon a hidden gem worth up to $30,000. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about valuable coins and collectibles, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know in the comments if you've ever found a valuable coin in your change. Until next time, happy hunting!